Hello and good day. I am Julian Yasmin Chua from Ateneo de Manila University and I will be presenting my paper on automation of data cleaning process by understanding nuances in COVID-19 data. With the continuous spread of the COVID-19 virus, government and health organizations saw the importance of data to provide better responses to the pandemic. For data to be effective, it requires immense scale of data collection. However, data collections are done manually. And with the immense number of data that needs to be collected, data quality can be overlooked even with data handling regulations and guidelines in place. The decision-making for the COVID-19 pandemic is data-driven. Therefore, results should be correct, accurate, and timely because decision-making during a crisis must be quick and effective to prevent the spread of the virus. This roots to the quality of the data used to produce these results because unclean and unprocessed data can affect the accuracy, the results, and the overall performance of the models. Data quality issues can happen at any stage in data management. May it be during data collection, data transmission, even during data integration. Most data quality issues are observed during data collection, either done manually or digitally. Data can either be misspelled, recorded in different formats, or incomplete. Issues can still occur even complete and valid data because data are incorrectly entered into the system. Data quality problems are emphasized in multiple source data because it handles data problems present in single source data and problems when data sources are merged because of the different data representations and duplicate data with contradicting values. In data transmission, data can be mishandled when incorrect data preparations are performed, followed by data transmission. For the transmitted data can contain data issues. In data integration, even with transformation workflows, data quality issues can occur if data are incorrectly transformed. This happens if there are new data quality issues caused by another source that are not yet analyzed. This is why data cleaning is a repetitive process. It is to capture all the data quality issues throughout the stages of data management. Data cleaning is a repetitive process of data analysis, definition of transformation, verification, correction, and validation, where the main goal is to improve the data quality. It is the most crucial and important part of data mining, and it takes up 80% of the time spent on data preparation and management, which can cause delays in producing results. Many are leaning towards automating the data cleaning process by developing algorithms. Majority of the algorithms are rule based detecting qualitative data issues such as duplicates, rule violations, and pattern violations. Data quality issues are a problem to produce effective and timely responses to the pandemic, even though data is continuously collected. The study identifies what data quality issues occur in the COVID-19 data to manage and improve data quality by following the data cleaning process framework for the development of the cleaning and validation scripts. The dataset consists of 575,307 data, covering the period of October 2020 to February 2021. It includes confirmed case data that contains the demographic data of the confirmed cases based on the COVID-19 questionnaire, confirmed case contact list, which contains the contacts made and the contact details of the confirmed cases, and test facilities data, which contains the results of patients who have undergone COVID-19 testing. That includes patient details, test results, and facilities details, where the tests are collected and conducted. Data is collected from a data warehouse with the use of APIs. Accessing the data requires logging credentials and generated tokens to ensure the security of the data. The data cleaning process framework is observed on the COVID-19 data for the development of the automated data cleaning scripts. Initial iteration of the framework is done manually to analyze and identify data issues, define transformation workflows, clean the data, and validating if data are cleaned properly. The succeeding iterations in the framework aims to automate the pre-validation, cleaning, and the post-validation of COVID-19 data. Since data errors and quality issues may occur after the cleaning phase, this will be manually analyzed for the identification of new data quality issues to define new transformation workflows needed to be added to the automated data cleaning scripts. Data is analyzed for the identification of data quality issues. Some are initially transformed to better analyze the data. Texts are transformed to uppercase, missing data are nullified, and unnecessary white spaces and characters are removed. 
Data quality issues come in many forms and are used as the criteria in analyzing the data to define the transformation workflows. In data validity, fields with expected values are analyzed, such as civil status, nationality, case classification, and so on, which are checked against a reference list, where the goal is to validate the data for reference. With COVID-19 data having multiple sources, data consistency is checked on fields such as contact details and date-related data, checking if the data follows the standard format. In analyzing data completeness, missing data is highly observed in the COVID-19 data. But not all missing data can be imputed because this can create data inconsistencies or uncertainties. However, lack of data such as age and PSGC data can be derived from other columns if the data is available. Duplicate data still needs to be checked even with unique IDs. Keys are created by concatenating name, sex, and birth date data to, for duplicate detection. Initials are also used to create keys due to some of the name data are in initials. The transformation workflows for data cleaning are defined on top of the standard data cleaning process. The standard data cleaning process are initially performed before executing the defined transformation workflows. The transformation workflows defined that are executed on the data are presented in the table. Data are validated after performing the transformation workflows to verify if transformations done are correct and effective. The validity checks are derived from the data analysis stage, initially used to identify data quality issues, and is used for validation after data cleaning. The validity checks to be performed on the data are presented in the table. Automation scripts are developed based on the defined transformation workflow and validation checks. Any new quality issues detected outside of the transformation workflow or the validation checks will undergo the data analysis stage again to define new or improve the current transformation workflow. As a result, the overall data quality of the COVID-19 dataset observed is 77%, with validity at 86%, consistency at 60%, completeness at 90%, and with 7% duplicate data. The data validity issues are present in fields with expected values because values are either misspelled or not part of the reference list. The source of data inconsistencies comes from the data collection because data are collected from multiple sources where data are represented differently. Completeness issues are because the data collected are incomplete or invalid data are nullified. There are few to no instances where data have exact duplicates, but overlapping duplicates are highly observed in test facilities data because of patients taking COVID-19 tests multiple times. It is observed that data collection has the highest source of data issues. The scripts developed covers the end-to-end -end process of data quality management and targets all the data quality issues that are observed in the COVID-19 data. Data extraction, transformation, and validation are included in the automation of data cleaning of the data cleaning process as shown in the figure. Automated validation scripts are able to detect data issues for correction. The data cleaning scripts are able to correct data issues detected, correcting invalid data, correctly formatting data after checking data validity, and removing stale duplicate data. The automation scripts targeted multiple data quality issues to improve the data quality, to make data cleaning faster, and making, eliminating this step in the pre-processing stage in data mining. In conclusion, the data cleaning process framework helped in identifying data quality issues that needed to be addressed in the COVID-19 data. Data quality issues can occur at any stage at data management, but the source of most data quality issues is from data collection. Since most data collections are done manually and in free text, but can be eliminated with the use of drop down lists. COVID 19 data, being a multiple source data, is expected to have consistency and uniqueness data issues when data are merged. The automated scripts developed are able to correct and validate data based on the data analyzed and will be continuously improved when new data issues are detected. Overall, the study was able to improve data quality and reduce data cleaning efforts in the pre-processing stage. Thank you.